My name's William Buchanan, and I worked down the coal mines initially for four years. Then I had a break to go to the university, uh, and then I went back and uh, went out to, to gold mining in West Africa for one and a half years. And then uh, when I came back, I, I worked in the South Derbyshire coal field for three years. The, the, the shorter miners in the mines, and of course Mr. Bevan decided that uh, as the coal output was going down, that they would recruit 10% of those called up to the forces to go in the mine. We had no option. It was just like, uh, and of course a lot of it, a lot of the pe people that called up for the mines, they resented it. You know, they felt, uh, I, I've got a, a friend who, who, who he, he became a, a bank. He was working in a bank and <laughs> to, go, to take this order from the working nice comfortable job in a bank to go work down a coal mine, of course, didn't go, didn't, didn't go down very well. But how did you find it? Well, it's really hard work. But a lot of the Bevin boys, of course, never went on the coal face. They were employed uh, on, 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 on haulage. Of course, when I went to the first day, 18 months, I was on the, ele on the electrical staff. And my main job was uh, looking after the signals. But as I say before, I didn't make any headway in, in the industry. Of course, I had to have uh, uh, four years practically experienced. Uh, so, uh, and that involved four, four years. So uh, I, I went. I went on the coal face. Uh, uh, well, I, I, I went to a different colliery. Initially, I was at Watnall Colliery, and then I went to Hotnell Colliery. And of course, there's two two mines at Hotnell. One mining a, a relatively thick, not very good quality seam, and and another colliery further down the, into into the town, uh, mining a, a, a thin seam like that, but very good quality. Uh, at this colliery, of course, the, 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 the uh, coal was all hand got. Uh, you had the coal cutter going up and down the face. A, a coal cutter went up and went up and down the face and cut a strut of coal at the bottom of the face. We, we, we were only allowed so many uh, uh, allowed to drill so many holes to put the explosives in. They didn't allow this to go and uh, uh, blast the coal all to bits. Uh, the idea was just to shatter, shatter the seam, and then often you could reprise the coal down with really great lumps, and, and then put the lumps on, onto onto conveyor, and the conveyor took the coal along the coal face, and then it went on to, let's say, it either went on to a, another conveyor which took it up the road to the shaft, or uh, loaded, uh, it was loaded by another a short conveyor into tubs and taken by, by road haulage again to the shafts. I went out to Ghana in, in, um, in 1951. I was on the boat at Christmas time. And uh, initially um, I, 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 was, I got a job with what was called a technical assistant. And uh, the first six weeks I, I was under a mine captain and just having a look around the, the workings of, of the gold mining. And then at the end of February uh, I was sent out to take charge cha take charge of a quarry. I had uh, ten week, weeks of that quarry. I only had about a dozen Africans <laughs> working under me. And um, of course the, uh, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't mining very great high grade or oh, a very low, uh, very low gold content in it, but they, they mined it. There was was a period uh, when I was out in the quarry where, where didn't produce any uh, any rock at all, and uh, I, I was given a job of exploring some old workings, uh, which were underneath the quarry, which had been mined two years ago, and uh, I didn't enjoy going in there because. It was full of bats, 
and as soon as I saw him, I, he didn't pass quite flying past you. Anyhow, uh, about after about ten weeks, I um, I was sent all the way back to the mine. What used to happen was you had a blaster boy, two machine boys, two shovel boys that they, they shovel the rock after the blast. Two shovel uh, tuck boys. They used to they they, 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 they all the shut pushed down a chute, and it went into a tub, and then the Africans uh, pushed the tubs uh, and tip, had a, an overturning tub, and they tipped it down what's called a, a, an oil pass. We, we, there was no conveyors used in the coal mine, in, in, in my, my, we, we, we relied solely on gravity. We drove the roadways, main roadways, about every hundred feet down from the shaft, uh, parallel to the go, the vein which went up at about uh, 80 degrees. And from, the, from, from that ro roadway we drove little, ro little roads into the, into the vein itself. We call, we call them cross cuts, and uh, a, a stoke one we developed consisted of three cross, three, uh, three cross cuts. Now, when we cross cuts were driven, the assay people came in, and they would sample the rock. Uh, what they used to do, we'd, we'd chip it, uh, chip a groove across the vein in five foot lengths or, or, or units of five foot. Uh, fractions of five, and uh, the, 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 then they take the, 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 the chippings to the surface, cr crush them, and ch cut it down to a very short sample. Then they the, the find out how much gold was in it, and that, that those results would go in, put, put on a map in, in the surveyor. But, but the thing is, is in the metal mine, you, 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 it's not you, all, all your labour is not on producing the gold-bearing rock. You, you've got uh, labour actually doing, uh, exploring the mine to see what, what, what the gold values are going to be in, in years ahead.